It is no longer news that the government led by Justin Trudeau has been nothing but a sickening attempt to keep embezzling public funds and not getting accosted for it. Shamelessly driving a wealthy nation into a recession for no good cause except for the selfishness and greed of one family. Inflation is at a record high in Canada with recession underway and no one knows for how long and how painful this is going to get. Pierre Paul Ivre, leader of the official opposition of Canada, takes a distinguished walk to a confectionery in Canada to explain the depth of this inflation and its effect on everyday commodities like baked goods. We're going to ARZ Fine Foods, the essence of Mediterranean gourmet. Better food, best food in the world, of course, is Mediterranean food. And we're going to find out about inflation or just inflation. Everything we need to know about it can be learned inside this beautiful supermarket. Look at all these beautiful options you have here. It's all handmade. Handcrafted. Yes. Delicious. Yes. But there's a lot that this can teach us about fighting inflation. Uh, and we're going to go and see where the bread is made, because that will, that will actually solve the riddle of why everything costs so much money in Canada these days. This is the lesson about inflation, folks. I'm going to use this incredible entrepreneur and his wonderful family business that started with a couple of family members. Now they employ 250 people. People from all backgrounds work here producing these incredible delights. And we're going to use this as an analogy to explain why inflation is so high and how we're going to bring it down. Okay, so Trudeau's government has created about a half trillion dollars of new money in the last two years. That means more cash in the system. That money goes out and bids up the goods and services that we buy. So imagine it this way. You have an economy with $10 and 10 loaves of bread. It's $1 for each loaf of bread, right? Now, if you double the amount of money in the economy to 20, but you still have 10 loaves of bread, well, now it's $2 for each loaf, right? Yes. It's twice as much, twice as much money buying the same amount of bread. And so right now, the Trudeau government is creating more cash with these huge deficits. Just this week, they announced another $20 billion of inflation they want to pile on. So the trick is we don't need to create more cash. We need to create more of what cash buys, build more houses, produce more energy, and produce more food. So go back to my analogy. Here we have pita bread. So imagine instead of doubling the amount of money, we double the amount of bread. So you have $10. You had 10 loaves of bread, but instead of doubling the money, you double the amount of bread. Now you have 20 loaves of bread for $10. What's happened? Now the cost of each loaf of bread has gone down to 50 cents because it's $10 buying 20 loaves of bread. So in other words, stop creating cash, start creating more of what cash buys, bake more bread. Isn't that the solution? Yes. So we need entrepreneurs like this. We need to get out of the way and off the backs of our farmers by getting rid of the carbon tax and the tariffs on their fertilizer and their fuels. We need to get off the backs of our truckers who bring the supplies to this wonderful establishment. And then we need to lower the taxes and reward the work of the workers here so that they can produce more of the food that we buy. That is how we're going to bring inflation back down make life affordable, no. and let people enjoy more of the nutritious food uh, that you have here. Homemade, authentic, Ares, try it out, you won't be disappointed. Bake more bread may sound like a phrase just off the bat, but it explains the intricacies of the mindless inflation Justin Trudeau has imposed on Canadians. As Pierre said, you don't need to increase the amount of cash, but increase the things cash can buy, and it is a very simple solution, except that nothing is simple when it comes to Trudeau. We always love to hear your opinions on our videos. Feel free to drop your comments below, like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.